right, Sarah. Let's see, eight hours? Oh, cool. My battery's all charged. Today I'm going to do a tutorial on this little guy. I've gotten requests. People liked when I did my little boho uh, ATCs. I had shared this piece that I did. So I went and got some bird houses. I have three different sizes and styles. I got another one of them. And I'm going to just show you how I did it. It's very simple. And especially if you happen to have this little stamp set, which I got it recently, definitely. It was at Michael's. And I, this is what inspired this whole thing. It's they're basically doodle flowers these two little stamps are doodle flowers I think I have embossing um, ink on there I don't want to get it on the paper a butterfly and a bird they're doodly right also I had seen um, a picture on Pinterest go back up Sarah of little bird houses that were painted this way they had all the different I think I could probably pull it up. I think I took a screenshot of it <clears throat> and they were hand painted but that's uh, that's where my inspiration came from let's see I think I probably took a picture somewhere yep here it is back on January 12th look how tiny they are and I'm pretty sure those flowers are hand painted. They're not stamps for sure. And there's just dip dots and all different colors and strokes. Like, see, they just put little strokes all over the place, which I love. So, and I could do that. But I had the stamp set. And then I embossed them too. I don't know what made me emboss. But I thought... It makes them easier to color in when they're embossed, when they have that little bit of raised. Oh, on this one, I actually used my waterproof pen that I love, this one, my Uniball Vision. And it, it smeared when I put the varnish on, so I won't be doing that this time. But it doesn't look that bad. All right, so let's do this. I actually filmed, I have this too. I got this at AC Moore, but I... I sanded off everything I did because I did not like it. I had embossed on here too, and um, I wanted it, I wanted it plain because I stenciled on there. I did the technique that I did on here, and I did not like it. Well, not the ombre. I kept it plain, but I stenciled. It was just way too busy, so I wanted to change it and go back to the original. Just and I mean, it looks pretty just like this. This is red. This is pink. They don't look red and pink on camera, but so yeah. So I wanted to go back and do that <clears throat> the way this turned out. It just turned out so cute. So that being said, let's get started. So all you're going to need is some Versamark. This is um, embossing ink. It's just a sticky ink embossing powder and I'm going to use black and if you don't have embossing powder just use black ink for stamping or you can just make some doodle flowers on here so I'm going to just do I'll do a few example like one example you've seen embossing before but basically I kind of designed it with a flower flower bird you know you can see what I did so I don't know that I even really need to um, I actually did film me painting these I'm gonna do a different one today I'm gonna do this one no I don't want to do this look at this one this one looks like a church I'll do this one all right so you're gonna take your embossing buddy see if these will even fit on here and just rub it on here this is just like powder and I'm going to put, let's put a bird on the front. Put them just standing down here because I can't fit them. Perfect. And we'll put a flower over here. And maybe that's it. That's all I need on this side. And then I'm going to take my black embossing powder. 
and I'm going to try not to get it in the holes. So I'm going to tip this so that it doesn't go in the hole. But I get my bird. And I'm going to get my flower over here. Pretty basic, right? And there you go. Look how cute. I could do more, but I'll just emboss these. <clears throat> I just want to wipe, I mean, get off a little. And I actually got white embossing powder. <clears throat> When I went, <laughs> I went to AC Moore. I got these at AC Moore, guys. <clears throat> They're a dollar. So, and they had this, these three were the only designs they had. <clears throat> but they had like little ones with the ropes on them, kind of like in the picture. A bunch of different stuff. So, um, then I basically, I used my, my, Alaska paint pens because I have them and this is the thing I'm trying to use what I have so if you don't have these obviously you can just use paint and all I did was when I painted these I used the colors that were in here so see the pink the, well I used a light green red I used purple on this I you know listen maybe I didn't but uh, <laughs> and then I take these and because these are the fine point Make, let's make our birdie this light blue color. All right, so I'll zoom in for this. My lighting is not good, I can tell. But it's super simple. I am basically just going to... I like to hold my hand on top of my other hand is under it. But you could absolutely do this with um, a paintbrush, like a little liner brush. But... Um, because it's embossed, there's like a little raised edge. It helps to keep you in the lines. And if I was doing this off camera, I'd be right over it. So I'm a little far away from it. Um, but look how bright. It just pops. I'm going to make little dip dots around this the holes. So look, he's done, basically. Can't see that well, but that looks good. I'll put a little bit on this flower, too. Let's do the little center. I guess this color, the dark blue, isn't the best for you to see the embossing. So that might have been a mistake. And I just keep switching colors. So let's go to yellow. And make. And the paint actually is is wet. It's not like a, a magic marker. It's like paint. So you can move it around very gently. I'll use this bright pink. Let's do this part bright pink. See how they're just doodle flowers though? So you guys can just draw them. I wish I knew if this little stamp set was still available at Michael's. I don't. It, it's in the $1.50 bin. Um, there's a little leaf here. I'm going to do red. I'll be doing these. It's been nice out though. So I it's like today's Saturday, but it's been so nice here in South Jersey. 
I think we've had record-breaking warmth for February. And then I need one more color. How about white? Put some white in here. These are so tiny, the little holes. And I'm going to put dip dots. So let me get a paper plate. I just use these little paper plates as a palette. When you do dip dots, see how I did to get a nice round dip dot? You can use a stylus. Stylus is this little tool that has the, the balls on the end. Um, and maybe I'll use a stylus just to show you. But I, I've been using the back of a brush depending on what size. Like when I did the uh, ones along this black edge, I used a bigger, I didn't have a stylus that size, so you just use the end of a brush. So let's do, what color dip dots should we do around? I think the yellow shows up really pretty on the blue. Uh, I'm gonna do that again. I could just do white, but I'm gonna put white all on the black. So listen, there's it's simple. You just have fun. and maybe I'll post it but I did a whole video of me base coating these of me prepping the wood I I used gesso um, white acrylic gesso to base to paint just covered the entire birdhouse with that and then let it dry and then sand it and then I painted each side and um, I show you how I use a flat brush and I just you know use some of my experience to show you that you know you want two thin coats rather than one thick gloppy coat and using the chisel edge of your brush to get in the nooks and crannies but doesn't that look pretty And I'm going to put, I should probably wait till this dries, but you know me, I don't wait. I have these. These are um, Pen Touch Quick Dry Permanent Opaque. And I don't know what's in here. That's the only thing. I don't think it's paint. I think it's some type of ink, but it doesn't say. I haven't been able to figure it out. Um, but it's a super easy pen to work with so I go like this and I'm just going to make a line about like I don't know how far away from the edge that is try not to touch my dip dots because you hate when that happens am I in the shot and I'm just putting the line everywhere Sorry if my head gets in the way, I'm trying to, let's see, I want to go from this way because it's, that way I won't put my hand in it. And I just eyeball everything. I couldn't get it from that angle. And I might touch that up. I could put blue there to cover it. But let's go. So annoying. Something like that. And like on the one in the picture, there's other leaves. Like I think I'm going to put on this one, I added leaves. Because that little guy has these two, oop, two little leaves. But this, I added leaves. And I like that. On the butterfly, I put, so let's do a roof, and I'll put a butterfly up there. But basically, that's it. Isn't that adorable? So I think I'm going to put a butterfly and a flower up here. Put a flower. I'm going to do this side. I'm going to do a lighter color side so you guys can really see what I'm doing. All right, so I'll be right back. Well, I'll sh I mean, I'll be right back. I'm just going to emboss it. Okay, so I want to do the butterfly side just to show you how I 
did it. It's not rocket science, guys. Let's see. What color butterfly do I want? You know what else I got that I haven't tried yet? I bought when I was getting them because I didn't have purple or orange. These are the Sharpie, but these are oil-based, and they're fine point. I don't know. I've never tried the oil-based Sharpie um, paint pen. This is a paint pen, right? Paint, yeah. Um, so let's see. Here's paper. Let's see how fine point it is. Got to get it, um, the paint to come down. But yeah, I mean, I, I don't think there should be a problem mixing the two of these like water-based and oil-based. I don't think that should have, should have, oh, there it comes, should be an issue. I just, um, I don't want it to smear or anything, but if it's paint, there we go. Oh, that looks good. I think I'm gonna color my butterfly purple. Wow. Oh, that's pretty. That's why I did that other side purple that side because I had this. I mean that's not as fine of a point but it's pretty good and, the, and it is paint. You can tell. Oh I didn't zoom in did I? But you can tell that it's the co consistency of it. It is paint. It's It flows out of the nib like paint would. It's not like a marker. So that's pretty. Um, I'll put like the little, I'll make the little dots around. I like to use the color on, oh, I skip around. I'll just show you what I mean. But that looks pretty. And then I'll make the, no, let's go yellow for the inside here. And I'm going to do yellow on here. I'll do it just this little tiny section in the middle. Anywho, you get the point. So then I would take white and make the little dash lines of the flight path, you know. And then I will take, <clears throat> I'm going to take paint. Let's get my palette paper. I wasn't prepared. I put everything away last night when I, after I painted. Because painting is messy. Painting, like I love getting to this point when everything's ready to go and base coated. Um, but I'm going to put out a little bit of a light green and a dark green. And I'll show you how I do my little one stroke leaves they're called. So a tiny bit of the light green and a little bit of this leaf green. And I like to use a filbert brush. You can use a flat brush, but a filbert's the one that has that little, it's a flat brush with a rounded tip to it. Let's see. This isn't a very, so it's like, it's a flat brush like this, but it has a rounded tip. This isn't the best one. This is one of the papillions. But it, so I'm going to load it, move all this out of the way, move this oh, over here, look, this is what I do. I'm going to load it in the dark green, so pull the paint out of the puddle. I have a little water in my brush. Then I just side, like corner load it into the green, and then you have a two-tone effect. So I'll put a couple of those right here just to make it, oops, and I think I'll add one because I put a flower back here. Oh look, I gotta go over that. So let's see, a little bit of this and a little bit of that and we'll make a couple here 
then one up here. And where else did I put flowers? Right here. So you can go around the whole thing when you're just doing your leaves. And uh, if you want to, add a few leaves here and there. I didn't put one on the front. Kind of like it. See that one, like, oh, am I in the shot? This one has like a tiny leaf thing. And it's small because of all the, because the, there's two holes. So that's why I just left it off there. But you can do whatever you want. Like I'll show you the other. So there's one there. I think that's all I have for now. Um, and I know I'm zoomed in. I'll unzoom. Hold on. Hold on. I have a lot going on on my desk somehow. I tried to clean it off so I wouldn't. But yeah, that pe that paint pen worked just fine. This one. This is what I want to show you. Oh, jeez. So, on here, for some reason, I did these kind of leaves. I don't know why. I made little... Um, stems and then I put like little leaves coming out like that. I don't know why. And I did the dark color on one side and the light color on one side. I made these little strokey things at places that I thought was empty. Um, like, let me see if this shows up better. This one. Um, on this one, I kind of made it like because it was taller, I made it so that I made stems so that the flowers were growing up and there's a little bird on the ground and I put the butterfly up here but you can still see the twisty turny the flight pattern right same thing over here but this I used um, my brush my paint brush to color everything and this one I used the Posca paint pens and there's definitely a difference in neatness it's much easier when you use the, the paint brush uh, the paint pens so that's why I figured I'd share that. But see, look, I put these little strokey things. And, you know, you could put grass. You could put whatever. And, like, on this side I put, I even put the butterflies flight pattern. But it's going to be cute no matter what because it's just so bold and colorful. So on this one, see, I made the leaves. And I outlined them with, um my pen I told you and it's smeared so I'm gonna use when I do that this time I'm gonna use um, either my paint pen see I, I wanted it really thin but I, I think I might just use my paint pen but I'm using paint regardless because you could just use a liner brush see all of them smeared when I did the uh, the varnish which I love the um, I use gloss varnish for these because it's just I think gloss uh, accentuates the bright colors so basically, so that's it guys. So for this side, um, yeah, I would take and add a little stem. I'll probably do that in black too. And when you're done coloring it I mean you can spatter this you could just do you can do whatever whatever you want it's, you know it's really that's what I like about it it's no set thing you can make it your own this just dresses it up so nice oh man a little wonky there, huh? But that doesn't matter either. I love this gold pen. It's like my new favorite thing. The pen touch. They had these at my Joann's. They had a whole big pack of them, like a bunch of metallic colors. It was like $22. So if I had a 50% off coupon, or 55 even, but I don't, I don't get it if I don't have a coupon. So I'm just going to go around each side with the gold pen. Alright, so I think you get the point. OMG, they're so cute. Alright, so I'll come back at the end. Um, and I might share this one because I did, 
I'm gonna do this the same way. I'm just gonna put, I might do the stem, I might do this similar on the front like this with stems and stuff. So I think I might do that and I'll come back and share that with you too. All right, so I'll be back. Okay, so I'm all done this one. And I just want to show you how I'm going to do, I mean, you guys, you know how to do this stuff. I'm using a thin, this is like a 10 slash zero liner brush and black paint. And I'm going to get it inky. So really, just water it down a little bit. And load up your brush. And then all I'm going to do is... Just quick little strokes like this, like just like that. I like that. Babe, I'm filming. Like that. So this way I know that it's not gonna run. And um, you still get the same effect. And actually I like the way it looks when you paint it. It just looks looser. But I do think it looks better outlined because of the embossing. Now that was way out of line, but it doesn't look bad. Well, I don't think it looks bad. Um, and let me think. The other thing I was going to show you, because I think you get it. Like this isn't hard at all. And you don't have to have this particular um, stamp set. You can use any little stamp set or just make your own little doodle flowers and you know what guys I would love to see what you come up with and post it on my Facebook page my serenity crafts Facebook page a lot of you do I see a lot of you guys posting on there well not a lot a couple I don't promote my um, channel very well do I uh, I never say so comment, like, and subscribe. I should, maybe. I don't really know why. Um, maybe I should find out, huh? Why I should say that. Because everybody else does, or not everybody. A lot of people do. Um, so see? I didn't put any on the front. I think that's it. <clears throat> and look, I did a little gold on the chimney. And you know, you I could have outlined that. That's true. I didn't put any gold on that. But I think that's all I need. Um, see how I made the, the path for that butterfly? I didn't, oops. I didn't like make a loop. I just made it like that. So the last thing you're going to do is put the dip dots all around the black. So see how I, oh, you know what, and I like that little gold there. Eh, I think I'm good. I mean, I could paint this little whole top gold or something. I think it looks kind of good. I don't know. Um, but for right now, let's get, so you, I always say this, and I, I think I'm starting to repeat myself. Um, but when making dip dots, you need a fresh paint puddle so like a nice puddle of paint and choose because I'm going to use the stylus this is a nice size dot I don't need them to be too big on here but you want to make a nice fresh puddle of paint and dip dot so you can make two at a time but the second one's de definitely going to be a little smaller than the first one and I don't mind the look of that, and I'm impatient, so I'm kind of going with it today. And that's it. But look how much it adds to it. You could put checks, and you know what? You can actually paint it a little. Oops, now I, I had coffee. That's another, oh, I wanted to tell you another tip, too. Um, well, coffee, I love my iced coffee in the morning. But, um... So I was going to say, you could paint it a little bit, like you could move your stylus in it, you know, and then you just make a weird looking one. But basically that's it. But I wanted to show you something I did on here. 
look what I've done on here. I don't know why, but I'm so rough and heavy-handed. I pushed way too hard when I was stamping, so I loaded up my stamp with the uh, embossing powder, and I just pushed so hard. I don't know why I did that, and it just, it's not a good look. Like, you want that flower to come out like that. Like, not all, you know, that's a better one. Look at that one and that, well, this one and this one, it's the same flower. So, but this look, I mean, I did it on these, all these top ones. I was just pushing so hard. And make sure you try and use your embossing buddy. If you guys have one of these, use it because it just saves you the cleanup. Because if you get embossing powder stuck to places, you can just wipe it off. But that, I regret that. Now, I'll try and paint over it. Let me just try and paint over it real quick. Um, let me use a pretty color. So I'll just put, I think I'll be able to paint over the embossing and it'll be fine. So I can kind of fix it, you know, but ultimately you don't want to have to fix it. You just want to do a good job when you're embossing. And that means just a light touch so that you just get the impression on there and the ink will stick to, I'm sorry, the powder will stick to the ink just fine. I don't know why I felt the need to press so hard. Um, let me use this pink. Look, like this is supposed to be little dots. So see, I can fix it. If I just use the tip of this pen, these are so nice, the tips on these. So see, that really brought it back to life. Like, look at this, the green leaf. I can just color over top of the embossing and fix it you know so it's not just it should even go on here like fix it a little make it you know so I think I fixed it it is fixable but ideally you don't want to do that you know um, what else did I want to tell you so oh on the back of here I did do it like a little scenery thing see how I made it and I like that and I do think I'm going to do that on, because on here I was thinking I was just going to, um, make random, like a set of three flowers here, a butterfly, a bird, you know, I just, and then that, maybe I don't even need to fill it up. I can just put, you know, and then maybe I will do some of the, the sparkle embossing powder but I bought white too I have white embossing powder so maybe I'll do the flourishes or something um, so I'll come back and show you that right before I'm done I also want to varnish this well you saw it varnished so we're good but um, so if you have any questions let me know um, but I think I'll come back and just share this one too I might do one more coat on my pink because it looks a little sketchy all right um, I just, I just keep turning on the camera though, guys, and share, oh, I just touched my dip dot, but it, it was pretty dry, look, they, they dry pretty quick, but didn't that turn out so cute, so here they are, varnished, not varnished, alright you guys, thanks for watching.